when you're born into this world, you're really dependent. You're dependent on your body. And at that point, it's not very dependable. It needs a lot of care from outside. But you're latched onto it, for better or for worse. And then gradually you learn how to become more and more independent. At least the body becomes more independent. You can learn how to take care of yourself. But even then, the body shows its unwillingness to do whatever you, everything you want. Sometimes it gets sick. Sometimes it does this. It gets parts get broken. And you look around. You wonder what can you depend on. We've got to depend on your mind. Then you look at your mind, and it's not very dependable. Well, it's the same principle. You've got to make it more dependable. The difference being that the body is designed to break down. If there is a designer, someone who really believed in planned obsolescence. But the mind doesn't have to break down. The good we do can become a firm foundation inside. And so we try to develop goodness in whatever way we can. And goodness here doesn't mean just being obedient. It means doing the skillful thing, the thing that is harmless. And to be harmless requires strength. The common image of, of a harmless person is someone who's weak and meek and not assertive at all. But the Buddha was a harmless person, and he was very strong. And he taught his disciples to be strong as well. There was one time when the Buddha went for alms, and Mara entered the villagers and inspired none of them to give alms, and inspired them, inspired them not to give alms. And so the Buddha went back to his resting spot, and Mara followed him. And the Buddha said, you know, you've gained a lot of demerit by doing that. And Mara says, okay, now you can go back in the village another time. But the Buddha saw this as a potential trick. He said, no, we don't need food today. We'll feed on rapture like the radiant gods. So you need to learn how to develop a sense of strength inside so that you're not tricked by things outside. The mind can become more and more dependable. Because it has this inner strength, and the inner strength comes from its inner skills. So the ability to sit here and breathe and be at ease, to have a sense of fullness and rapture, that's an important source of strength. So learn how to develop these skills, the skills of the mind. And you find that you can depend on them more and more. And as I said, unlike the body, they don't have to go away. They're really yours. So other people in the world may not be skillful, but that's no reason for us not to be skillful. They may not understand our skills, but again, that's no reason for us not to be skillful. We need to find something we can depend on. And we can find it right here.